Hello team, welcome back to Daisy Sakal and my points of interest series. Well, where am I? Well, this this is a very, very nice point of interest, really. I mean, it's this rocky tumble down valley, but that's not why I brought you here. I brought you here because I want to show you three caves that I call the three sisters. Um, and this is cave number one, right at the very top. Um, and I've just been having a little fire in there because I got cold getting up here. So there's a little fire. Ta-da! It's a very narrow cave, this one. I mean, it's a cave. But it's, it's more like an overhang than a cave. Um, and uh, let's see. Where are we in all of these things? Well, we are down here. We're halfway between Nogavo and Blissico. And you will see that there is a road that joins heading south. And if you follow that up, you'll see there's a big collection of rocks up here. Some uh, hamlet houses over there. But there's a big collection of rocks up here with a peak at 322. This is where I am in amongst this collection of rocks. So if you want to come looking for the three sisters, you want to find this big collection of rocks. Now I should caution you, there are wolves up here. Um, I have already been attacked by wolves once. So if you are coming up this way, uh, be prepared to find some wolves. And I mean, all in all, it's 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 very it's a very dramatic setting. Um, here is the second of the caves, which is really just more of an overhang. But I mean, I guess you know, if you built a base here, you could build a wall across here and a wall across there. It would be pretty sizable, um, and it's completely covered, of course. Uh, you've still got some vantage points uh, up in the hills into this particular one. Uh, but there you go. So that's the topmost one in this collection. This is the other one, and. Um, We'll head on down to the last of the three sisters, which is just down here a little ways. Um, so yeah, it's a very interesting, it's a very interesting feature. I kind of like it. All these fallen down trees and everything. Um, it's very good. And like, there's nothing up here. There's no, there's no loot or anything. There's just three caves in close proximity to each other. Um, you know, which is which is fabulous. Just just makes it a just makes it a, a, a fabulous little place to be, really. got this um got this big feature up here as well which is this like dead end which is great dead end rocks it's very good all these fallen down trees they do make nice features so we came we came down that side um, and if you come around as I have brings you into this side here's the sneaky one the fallen down tree and this one's really nice this is an actual honest to goodness cave it gets a bit dark in here you got an overhang and you got this like moon pool kind of thing going on it gets darker as you get in um, I, I don't know if it actually goes anywhere. I haven't had the courage to try it, to be fair. I've got the old night vision goggles, but it doesn't really help. But anyway, you got this. This is a very, very secluded cave. Um, I mean, it is water. Um, quote unquote, can you drink it? Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. We've got a, um, we've got a filtering ball here. So let's take a swig of our filtering ball. No, it doesn't seem like it's going to give me the option to drink this. So while there is water here, for some reason... Oh, no, it does give me the option to fill it. You just have to go a different place. Is it drinkable? Ooh. Well, I don't know. Drinkable. I assume for a, for a filtering bottle, it's fine. I assume that it's um, that it's like liquid snow that you would need to chelate it. Um, I'm not going to test that for you. But if some of you want to test it, you feel free to let me know. Um... I'm just here to show you the point of interest, not explain whether you can drink from the water well or not. It's entirely up to you to determine if that's a safe thing to do uh, or not. Do you need to boil it? Do you need to whatever it? Do you need to collate it? I'm not really sure, you know, just not really sure. So here you go. And this is the Three Sisters, which is a lovely little point of interest. Like I say, there's a little one of those uh, roadside towable cabin things down there just at the junction. You just follow that junction. <laughs> 
uh, up into the hills, find yourself all those lovely great big rocks, and mooch around in the rocks, and eventually you'll find them. Anyway, that's the Three Sisters, another interesting little um, point of interest. I hope you like it. Do click the like button. Do you subscribe to the channel. Do click the bell notification. And do watch out for the wolves. And I will see you all again real, real soon. ta, -ta for now. PlayStation.